Before watching this video, please turn on the subtitles. Last fall, we released War Robots Remastered. New graphics, improved stability, 60 frames per second. But what's next? To answer these questions, we've invited the professionals, those who develop War Robots. War Robots, как и любая онлайн игра, состоит из двух частей. Первое — это клиент. Это то, что вы запускаете на телефоне или ПК, скачиваете со стора. В клиенте содержится все, что вы видите на экране. Карты, роботы, пушки, эффекты, меню и все прочее. Вторая часть — это сервер. Говоря совсем просто, сервер — это мозг игры. Благодаря серверу игроки с разных устройств могут видеть друг друга и синхронизировать свои позиции. Допустим, ваш робот делает шаг вперед. Информация об этом шаге отправляется на ближайший сервер по сети. Там обрабатывается и рассылается другим игрокам в бою. В итоге все они видят единую картину, как ваш робот начинает двигаться. Это происходит за считанные миллисекунды. То же самое происходит с каждым действием. Выстрелом, используем способности, апгрейдом, приглашением во взвод или в клан. When your connection fails or when it takes too long for the server to react on your action, you can see, for example, glitching or teleporting robots. That's where the so-called lag happens. Each second, Warbo servers process billions of players' actions, and the number of players grows, as does the number of possible actions for servers to process. We have to keep the servers up to date to make sure they will handle the load. We constantly introduce small technical tweaks. Now it's time to change the technology itself. Over the first half of 2021, we will gradually migrate to our own server platform that we've been working on for quite some time already. A new platform will make War Robot servers more stable, efficient and easy to maintain. This should boost the stability of the game, reduce the lag cases, and help us get rid of such glitches as immortal robots, inactive beacons, and some others. Performance improvements. At the same time, optimizing the game client remains one of our top priorities. The overall goal is simple, to show the best possible graphics on all devices while maintaining the stable frame rate. All our technical features related to the game client are designed based on this goal. With each update, we optimize how quickly the game loads, how long it takes to open the hangar windows, and frame rate in battle. On top of that, we work on a new robot deployment system. For now, the game can stutter each time a new robot is deployed on the battlefield. When somebody selects a robot, the game assembles it from different parts. It assigns the robot its weapons, modules, pilots, and drones. The new system that we plan to implement in the first half of the year should optimize this process and eliminate the stutter. Maximum graphics. The final topic. War Robots Remastered. Our work on it isn't over. We strive to optimize the remastered version to the point where as few devices as possible will have to use the minimal graphics per set. And we plan on adding better graphics for top devices in Q1 2021. High-resolution textures will take up more space on your device, but they will be optional. We'll implement a partial download system that will allow you to select what you want to install. As a bonus, it will reduce the size of the update files. Those of you who need better graphics will be able to download the textures separately. And the rest will have the option to play using the lighter version of the game client. Sounds good! What do you think? In our final video, we'll tell you what we've prepared for the War Robots community this year. Subscribe to this channel and expect notifications.